Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and today we are talking about nudes. Now, not this kind of nudes, I'm talking about all drugstore, my favorite go-to nude lip products for you today. I, I have a ton of products to show you today and I love them all and I have one that I'm going to show you that I really don't like that I bought but any users, I am going to just jump right into this video and start telling you about my favorite nude products. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about is what I have on my lips right now, which has become my new go-to favorite thing that has been in my purse for this past week. And it is the L'Oreal Paris Collection Exclusive J-Lo Collection Lipstick in 370. Oh, these are the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipsticks. And it's in 370 Jennifer's Nude. Now, I saw... If you watch The Bachelor, Vanessa Grimaldi, who is now with Nick, showed this on her Instagram that she'd been wearing it everywhere, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try that. So for $5, I went to Walmart and got this, and I love it. I wear it every time I get in the car, I put it on, and then usually I layer a lip gloss on top of it just for some added shine, but this lipstick itself gives you a lot of shine and moisture. It almost feels like a lip gloss after you put it on your lips. It's so moisturizing. It doesn't dry your lips. It makes them look very natural. And the color itself is more of just an enhancing natural color of your lips. So it's not going to give you too pale of a nude that you're like, ooh, you know, she has pale lipstick on. But this is a great color and I love it for $5. I mean, you can't beat it. Come on. Since I liked that one so much, I went and picked up a different shade. And this is 610 Eva's Nude. And this one's a lot darker. But... It still has the same formula and wears the same on the lips. This one's just a little bit more orange, I would say, than that one. So here's this one, and I'll show you it compared to Jennifer's Nude. Jennifer's Nude is definitely more pink and pale, and Eva's Nude is just more of a terracotta orange. Uh, but it's still pretty transparent, so it's not going to be super matte on the lips. It still has the same shine, same moisture as the Jennifer's Nude and it's awesome just to throw on if you want a little color on your lips but you're not going to over the top. Also from the same line of lipsticks but in their in L'Oreal's normal um, range of things instead of their JLo exclusive version this is the L'Oreal Color Rich Lipstick in 800 Fairest Nude. It is a beautiful color and when I say this is the exact color of my natural lips it really is. And so when I put it on, it just enhances the color of my lips and makes them look like I have something on them but without adding too much crazy color. And that is right there. It is a beautiful. I've used it so much, so often. If I'm throwing on a lipstick, this is what I usually put on before I found the Jennifer's Nude. And it's just a perfect pale, pink, pinky nude that isn't too light pink for your skin tone, which I really like. Okay, I have a lipstick from NYX. These are their round lipsticks that I think are really cheap, around like $5 too. And this is in the color Thalia, or Talia. Not sure which it is, but I broke my lid somehow. I don't know how. But this is in 529 Thalia. Talia. I don't know if you have the H silent or not. Any users, this is kind of along the same lines as these lipsticks that I've had. They're just more of a pinky nude that go on your lips to enhance your natural color. Um, this is not drying. It's very moisturizing, very shiny on the lips, and it's super cheap. So I'm going to put that. It's a little darker and more on the mauve side than these, and it's a little more full coverage. The L'Oreal lipsticks tend to be a little more transparent, and so when you put them on, they don't go full color. You kind of have to put them on a little bit to have some color payoff, but the NYX round lipsticks are full color. So if you're looking at those, make sure you get a color that's more close to your natural lip color. So if you're going for a new look, that is just throwing that out there. Okay, I'm going to mention the lipstick that I bought that I do not like. I was thinking along the lines of all these new lipsticks that I had been trying out from L'Oreal that I was in love with. I was like, oh, this would be great. This is the CoverGirl Lipstick in 235 Champagne Champagne. And from the outside, it's very cute packaging and everything. And then you um, swatch it, and it's a light, it's a very light um, pink. And then you swatch it on your hand, and it's like, oh yeah, that's like 
you know, shiny and moisturizing and everything. And then you put it on your lips and it's like, it just doesn't look good on your lips. It kind of just like separates. It doesn't look that good. It didn't wear that well by itself. It didn't wear that well with a lip gloss on top of it. And so I'm kind of just probably going to give this to a friend because it's not on my favorites list. It was around $5. So, I mean, it wasn't super expensive, but these CoverGirl lipsticks, I don't know if I just don't like this color or what, but it was not my favorite. All right, now I'm going to talk about something that I talk about so often on my channel, and that is NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. If you watch my videos and my makeup tutorials, I wear these so often. They are an amazing product. They aren't a lipstick, but they aren't a liquid lipstick, but they aren't a lip gloss. They are just so creamy, and they go on your lips so well. Full coverage, full color, and they stay on for a really long time, but they never dry out your lips, which I love. And they come in so so many different shades and I talk about a good shade range these have any color you could ever possibly imagine they go from nudes to pinks to hot pinks to oranges to reds to browns to purples to black to everything you could possibly want so for the purpose of this video I'm just sharing my top three nude colors from the line that I wear all the time and I have worn these all three in my makeup tutorials as of late so we're gonna start with the first one this is Stockholm, and so it's O2. Now this is, out of the three, more on the pink side of a nude. It definitely has a more pink undertone, and when you put it on, on your lips, it makes, it looks more pink. It, it's not a brown nude, it's a pink nude. But this one is the more pink nude. I wear this more if I have pink makeup on, or if I'm just looking for a pinker nude that day, I will wear this one. Now let's move to 04, which this is the one I wear the most often. This is London, and it is more along the lines of just a tan brown nude without being too brown. Alright, here's, here's London, I just smeared that. Here's London compared to Stockholm, and you can see that this one's more pink than this one. This one's more neutral, not super brown, not super pink. And it kind of has a little bit of an orange undertone. And so when I put that against my lighter, fairer skin tone, it just complements me very well. And it'll complement you. So sometimes you feel like you don't want something too brown because then that makes you look like you have brown lipstick on instead of it being kind of just a nude color not to take away from your eyes or something else that you have done on your face. So I reach for this one all the time. This one's usually in my purse and I love it. Now we're going to look at 09. Abu Dhabi, which I used this in my last video. Um, this one is definitely, this one and London are really similar, like very, very close, but once it gets put on, it's darker and more brown. So there's the difference in London and Abu Dhabi. So I wear this one more when I want a browner look. Like say I'm having like a really smoky eye like I did for my Kardashian makeup tutorial. That's when I pulled this out and wore it. Loved it. Love these. And these are also only $5 at Ulta or Target. Okay, the next category we're going to talk about is liquid lipsticks from the drugstore. Now I'm not a super huge fan of liquid lipsticks. I find that they're good for a short amount of time. Which is kind of ironic, I know, because liquid lipsticks are supposed to be long wearing, so you're supposed to wear them for a long time. But I find that they bother me, and you have to touch them up a lot, and they start to come off, and it's just not a good deal. But I have found some from the drugstore that are really good and super affordable. They smell like vanilla cupcakes. They're very sweet smelling. Yeah, they're just really good. These are the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors, and I picked these up at Walgreens. They are like... $3.99 or $4.99 like super super affordable I have two different colors here the first one is buttercream frosting ironic I called them like a cupcake all right this one is a pink nude not super pale and once you put these on and then they dry see this one looks like in the tube which looks super light but then once you get it out and get it on your lips it's a little bit darker and that's something that came up because I bought this one thinking it was gonna be white and then I went back and bought this one, the buttercream frosting one, because it was lighter. Now, these dry super fast, and they dry matte. They're not shiny. They're not very moisturizing. But I don't find them drying out my lips too awful. What I'll do normally, I'll put these on, and then I'll put like a lip balm on over. 
and that will keep my lips from drying out super quickly. Now, these, when you put them on, they're not coming off until you want to take them off. So I suggest if you're going to wear these, take this with you wherever you go, and you can just touch up in the middle, say you're eating, say you're drinking something. They will tend to wear off just a little bit, and so you can touch them up on the go. They're pretty good for that. They don't get too cakey if you keep applying. So, love these. The other color I have is 01 Creme Brulee. These are cute names. And this one is a lot pinker, and more mauve, and darker. And so here's this one compared to the first one, which in the bottle I thought, oh, it'll be a good pink nude, no big deal. Got it home, was like, whoa, it was a little bit more mauve than I wanted. But it's still a beautiful color, still nothing too crazy out there that you couldn't wear on an everyday basis. So, like I said, it's very long wearing, very affordable, and they smell fabulous. Another liquid lipstick that I have found is from the drugstore. I bought it at CVS because that's my only drugstore around here that sells Milani products. This is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream, and it's got beautiful gold packaging. I love that. And this is in the shade 39 Pretty. And I kind of did the same thing with this, thinking it was going to be super light and it wasn't this one's kind of right in between the other two it's kind of just a pretty pink color and this smells good too they smell the same they smell like vanilla and i kind of like that anyways this will dry matte and stay on really well i mean it has good lasting power but i find these to be on the more drying side than the jordana ones Although, I don't find it to be an issue when I wear them. Once you put them on, like I said, it's going to stay on. It's not one of those things you can just wipe off with a napkin. It's something you kind of have to work on to get off, which is why I only wear those when I know I'm going to be wearing it for a short amount of time. Come home, take it off, no big deal. But those are super affordable as well. They come in lots of colors. Um, so do the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte colors. They come in lots of colors. Any kind of color you want, they got nudes, they got hot colors, they got dark colors, they got everything. So those are just some liquid lipsticks from the drugstore that I like. There are others out there, some are not good, some are okay, but these are my favorite. So now we're going to move on to two products that are not lip glosses and they're not liquid lipsticks and they're not lipsticks, so they're kind of in their own weird category. The first one is the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint. And this is in the kind, and this is in the shade 05 Stripped Down. I love these things. I only have one, but I really like it. They smell like watermelon smackers, or smackers were the little lips when you were a kid. And it comes in this cool tube with a little doe foot thing on the top. And you can put them on, and they're super glossy. Okay, so I'm going to swatch this on the back of my hand for you. Now, the reason these are pretty unique is that they're very intensely pigmented. Bam. Super intensely pigmented, but a great nude color. It's kind of more of a natural color, but enhanced. They're very shiny, very moisturizing, but they never kind of dry down. They're kind of like a liquid lipstick consistency, but with the shine of a lip gloss or lipstick, they kind of never mattify and they stay on really well throughout the day and they're easy to reapply and they taste really good. Okay, yeah, we shouldn't say taste because I didn't like eat it. But they smell and taste like a watermelon and I like them. They come in lots of different shades and they're pretty affordable as well. So I really like these. The other thing I have is from Essence. It's a liquid lipstick, but it's not really a liquid lipstick that you think of normally. Uh, this is in a shade... I don't know. Oh, Bay. B A E. Like, hey, Bay. Um, they come with a little Dofa applicator. And I have a couple colors of these, but this one's pretty pink. Um, see how shiny that is? Boom. But they're honestly more of a lip gloss than a liquid lipstick because they never matte down, but they're super thick in full color. So I think that's why I put them in their own category because a a lip gloss is more just kind of sheer and this reminds me a lot of like the NYX butter glosses and stuff like that so it's very nice very affordable these are like two dollars three dollars and they come in lots of different shades this one's more of a pale pink so it's just good to throw on you know whenever in the summer I like grabbing for these more 
but yeah. So I like these two. Okay, the last category that we have is lip gloss. I love lip gloss. Lip gloss is something that you can put in your car, you can put it in your wallet, you can put it in your purse, you can put it on your nightstand, you can put it in your house, put it wherever. And you can just apply it whenever, and it always looks good. I love that. You don't need a mirror, you don't need anything. You just know you're going to put it on and it's going to look good. So that's why it's my favorite. Alright, the first one I have is from Milani. And this is the Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Nude Touch. I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. It is a super gold um, metallic -y lip gloss. It's got tons of shimmer and glitter, and it's very golden. Um, but it's pretty see-through, so it's not going to give you super amount of color on your lips. It's going to give you a really nice shine. This lip gloss is very... I don't want to say sticky because that sounds bad, but it is very sticky and thick. So when you put it on your lips, it stays on there forever, which I love. You don't have to reapply this every, like, hour. It will stay on there forever. And then once it kind of wears off, it leaves a really nice feeling on your lips. So, love these. Super cheap. The next lip gloss I have is from NYX. This is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Pie. And these smell like... Red Starburst, and if you think I'm lying, go buy one and smell it, or go buy Ulta and smell it, because these, no joke, smell like a red Starburst, and they kind of taste like one too. Um, this is just a nude, more of a, these are like less transparent than these lip glosses, and, but they give you a really nice sheen, not like a shine. So they more give sheen than shine, I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But compared to this other one, I don't know if you can tell, but they're more of like a sheen, not super glossy. But they give your lips a really nice feeling. They wear long. They don't feel sticky. They don't stick together. They wear beautifully throughout the day. And so I love to throw this in my purse just to grab whenever or wherever. The next is from Soap and Glory. It's their Sexy Mother Pucker in the shade Candy Queen. Now this is a plumping lip gloss. So when you put this on, it's going to make your lips tingle, it's going to make them bigger, it's going to make them fabulous. Usually I keep this in my makeup organizer in front of me, and whenever I'm about to get ready to do my makeup, I put this on and then wipe it off at the end before I put on my lip color that I want to wear that day. And it just makes my lips have a little extra plump, which I really like. Now, don't expect to put this on and your lips like become Kylie Jenner because they're not. But it does give you a little something extra. I really like this. It doesn't hurt. It just tingles and feels a little minty. So I really like these. These come in a couple of different shades. So I don't wear these as like an everyday lip gloss. I throw it in my purse. I just use this more for the use of plumping. But sometimes I'll put this on at the end of doing my makeup and leave it on and wear it. And it's a nice nude shade. It doesn't take away from my makeup. And I really like it. Let me show you what the Sexy Mana Pucker looks like. Here's what Sexy Mother Pucker looks like compared to the NYX and the Milani. It's just a nice nude lip gloss that's pretty shiny with lots of glitter. Alright, the last one I want to talk about is the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in the shade Tiramisu. I have had this lip gloss. I just is a new one, but I've had this shade of lip gloss for about two or three years now. It's my favorite. And these NYX lip glosses smell really sweet. This lip gloss looks just like my lip color, but better and glossy. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Alright, here is Tiramisu. And it looks kind of intense on my hands, but once you put it on, it's really not that dark, I promise. It's a very nice shade, but the difference in this lip gloss, the butter glosses themselves, are very full coverage, very thick lip glosses, and they'll give you a little bit of color payoff. Whereas the NYX Mega Shine lip glosses are kind of just regular, run-of-the-mill lip glosses. So, these have lots of colors in them. I love these, and these are also around $5 at Ulta or Target. So, yeah. Alright, guys, that is the end of 
all of the nude lip products that I just listed you. There's a ton. I will list as many as possible in the description box below so you can find them. All of them can be found at a Walmart, a Walgreens, an Ulta, CVS, any kind of store like that. They can be found. I will list them below and tell you where they are in stores and everything and how much they cost. I will have put that already in this video but anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed this video it was just a little bit different and I've really been into the new lip lately and getting around into new products from the drugstore and so I thought this would be a perfect video I am planning on doing a lash lift DIY video and some more makeup tutorials soon so keep your eyes out for that uh, follow me on Instagram like this video if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you like watching these kind of videos and I will see y'all in my next video.